town I must not fall This is the moment The sweetest moment Webinar 01. This is a lifestyle-based seminar through vlogging for the youth, adolescent, and teenagers. Our topic for this webinar is the price of stress. This is your content provider, Prose Gonzaga Jr., known to my student as Sir Noy, and we will be together in the study of this topic, the price of stress. Here is a question. Are you also stressed? Or are you a cause of stress for others? Well, here is a breaking news. There is a house and lot that is being given from all of the churches and all of the places where we present this topic, but nobody wants to grab it. How about you? Do you want to have this house and lot, beloved youth? If you want to have this house and lot, then try to listen to this vlog seminar before you want to aspire for this house and lot. Now, here is an illustration of the stock exchange or the stock market. Well, you know, the stock market is full of businessmen and they are always competing for prices and gains of which a movement will cause success and also an equal opportunity of failure. Now, when the stock market goes down or it will fail or it will become a loss, the Japanese will just kneel and commit harakiri. They cannot accept the pressure from this stress. When the market falls down and the Chinese is involved, the Chinese will just tie a rope on top of a strong ceiling and then hang himself because they cannot face stress very squarely. If a Korean is inside the stock market during the time that it begins to fall and it become a failure, the Korean will just find a very very accessible window and then jump on that window to commit suicide because they cannot handle stress very well. Now, if a Singaporean is inside the trade center, the stock exchange market, and stocks began to fall, and their day will become a very great loss, they will just automatically book a ticket and go home to their places. And do not mind about this, because they cannot handle occupational stress very well. However, if a Filipino trader is inside that stock market or trading center, well, you can just imagine, the Filipino will say, wow, it's a loss today. However, it's just for today. Malas lang ngayon, pero bukas, suswertihin din tayo. Parang gulong lang yan, minsan na tataas, minsan na sa baba. Another Filipino will say, weather, weather lang yan. Para naman yung iba, may chance of winning. Well, by nature, dear youth vloggers, Filipinos are very resilient and they do not succumb very easily to stress. That is one very good factor that we can see with Filipinos. No? 
we do not treat problems seriously. We just view it as a bad hair day and just wish sana oil or sana all. Filipinos have a bigger problem in life and existence, bigger than stress, and that is poverty. That's why stress is a lighter way of meeting a Filipino's limits. That is why our suicide rate is very low in Asia. We're almost in the lower five or in the lowest five at least of the whole Asian countries. Now, for our Bible-based point, let us open our Bible to Matthew 11, verse 28 and 29. It says, Come to me, all ye who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle, and my burden is light, and I will give you rest for your souls. Now, dear youth vlogmates, what is stress? Can we define stress? Well, stress is your body's way of responding to any kind of demand or threat, whether real or imaginative. It's a body response. Okay? This will open the way for the adrenaline well, this is the emergency hormone of our body to function and we will be under the state of fight or flight. Okay? In the layman's term, we call this, we are becoming two times or three times stronger because of the presence of this adrenaline. Now, the question is, is there positive things or are there positive things in stress? Well, yes, there is. We need stress to force us to do our best because if there is no threat, there is no doing our best. That is very simple. Now, another advantage of having stress is you can experiment on your limits. If you will just know what you know and you will not know what you can still know, then that will make you stagnant. One way for us to know what we can still know is to put stress into our body to know our limits. And then, let us challenge our present maximum abilities by trying to gain higher leverage or higher tendencies or higher talents than what we have already now. That makes stress positive. Well, of course, the balancing question is, is there negative or are there negative things in stress? Well, of course, stress is more aligned to the negative. Okay? Stress is bad when you overuse our body and mind. You call that as the fatigue syndrome. Stress also increases our acid formation and activity that causes lingering pains in the abdominal area. Stress increases the risk of sickness and we have and may result into emphasized aggravation of symptoms. So, stress can cause fatigue, stress can cause pain in the abdominal area, and stress can increase the aggravation of symptoms, meaning it can make the symptoms more emphasized because it is already stressful. The symptoms are just light, but with the presence of stress, it becomes very emphatic and very aggravated. Now, here is an informal survey okay, about the things that really cause stress to our adolescents, to our youth, to our young people, to our teenagers. And what are these? Well, a survey of five primary stressors of students revealed the following. The fifth is rules and regulations. Of course, it's very hard to follow rules and regulations because it means 
less happy-go-lucky than written exams as expected, deadlines, financial obligations, especially if you are facing the dean of the student finance or the treasurer or the finance officer of the system and you have nothing to pay. And lastly, and I did not expect this to happen, but the greatest stressor of our students, our young people, is actually their teachers. And I am one of them. Am I a stressor to my students? Well, if you will follow this survey, then I am. Okay. So, what are the expected results of stress? Well, we coined the expected results of stress in, a, in an acronym, which is New Start. N is nutrition. So, what is the negative effect of stress to our nutrition? Well, stress due to overwork can lead to miss our meals. Stress due to overwork can lead to reverse coping up, which is stress eating in terms of volume of food intake. Stress due to overwork can lead to carry over mental strain Okay, and at night, and the result is a non-sleepy feeling that will result into eating until the wee hours of the evening. Now you have to know, dear youth vloggers, that eating in the evening will cause the stomach not to digest our food and it will stay there and rot and it will become an area of bacteria to attack and it will create wounds in our digestive system which will result into ulceration and later on cancer and even death. Now, E. E is exercise. What is the negative effect of stress to exercise? Well, stress limits the time of exercise, thus resulting to obesity and digestive problem. Okay? Stress deprives us of exercise that results into weakening of the bones and body circulation. Stress will lead us to be distorted in times of having our exercise, which will be catered by exclusive gyms and modern fitness centers, mostly at night time. Now, let us try to talk about the last point. God created exercise to be used together with sunlight. Exercise makes the fats and the cholesterol loosen and sunlight burns them. Therefore, an exercise without sunlight is also dangerous because exercise will remove or will detach this cholesterol and fats, but because the atmosphere is cold, there is no sun, it will cling up again. Because when there is heat, there is always expansion. When there is coldness, there is always sticking. We call this vasoconstriction. So, the problem here is, we are being distorted by some unhealthy originated business into having our exercise during the night time. So if you go into physical fitness centers or gyms, you will have air condition and very cool environment. You do the exercise, you loosen the cholesterol and the fats, but when you're rested, you sit near the electric fan or the aircon, you just put the cholesterol and the fats back to its place in the blood vessels. Therefore, it has no recourse or result that is very, very advantageous to humanity. Next, W stands for water. What is the negative effect of stress into the water needs of our body? 
Stress increases the loss of water through our sweat, yet decreases the intake of water through our drinking. Will you try that? Dear youth vlogmates, if you are very busy with work, you will sweat too much, but you'll forget to drink, and that is a negative health result to your system. Stress reduces body water, and internally, it will have infection called UTI because of the lack of water, and externally, it can also mean that because of too much work, you forget to have external hygiene or bathing, it will result into body odor. Now, stress deprives us of water intake of which water helps in the body circulation and movement. That this will lead to sleepiness and lethargy. So, during times of stress, let us always have a sip of water. Let us not compromise the 8 to 10 glasses of water that we need just because we are busy. Because it will result into body odor, UTI, urinary tract infection, and sometimes it can lead into unexpected sleepiness and lethargy because of the lack of circulation in our body. Letter S. S stands for sunlight. What is the negative effect of stress to the sunlight needs of our body? As we have said earlier, sunlight is needed together with exercise to burn the fats and to help in the circulation improvement of our body. Stress deprives us of time to expose ourselves under the sun. The only time that fats are liquefied to avoid cementation of it in the blood vessels. Exercise is useless without sunlight. Dear vlog affectionados, dear youth vloggers, stress deprives us of sunlight that is needed to activate calcium in our body for healthier bones and regulated and better heart pumping. So you can just imagine if we do not have sunlight, even the pumping of our heart, even the strength of our bones, even the calcium contents of our body, which is very, very important in the beating of the heart, will be affected. That is why sunlight should be given priority, even if we are stressed. Letter T. T stands for temperance. What is the negative effect of stress to our body temperance? Well, stress deprives us of balance in activity. Thus, it results to physical and social strain and disconnection. So if you are not temperate with work, you are putting more of work and less of interaction, you are actually overdoing yourself in work, and then trying to let your social life die. This is an uneven thing that will make you also unhealthy holistically. Stress destroys the balance between family and career, leading to the dysfunction of yourself in your career, or the worst thing is yourself and your family. Because of too much stress, you have more of your quality time in work and less of that quality time with your family. And that will create the gaps that will soon become harder to resolve. Stress damages the balance between self-time and work time, resulting to neglect of self and self-enjoyment. Well, you are not to work because you have to kill your leisure. You are to work because you need some leisure. And that is where temperance happens. A stands for air. So what are the negative effects of stress to our air consumption in the body? Well, Stress deprives us of fresh air, especially 
when we remain in the offices and recycle carbon dioxide, which results to sleepiness, lethargy, irritation, and disorientation. Well, if I will ask you, dear youth vlogmates, what is the first sign of loss of oxygen or loss of air in the body? I know you will tell me fainting. Fainting is already a last-ditch result. The first sign always that a person lacks air is irritation, which is the first sign of stress in relation to our air deprivation. So when you have an irritated family member, irritated office mate, irritated student, just let them go out of the room, go to a field with so many plants, and let them breathe fresh air. It will calm their system because air is very vital to our body. Because of too much work, because of stress, we forget to breathe fresh air. And air, exercise, and sunlight will always go together. Stress makes us, for, makes us forgetful to look for good oxygen sources. And lack of oxygenation in the brain will cause us to be irritable and to be weak. So always remember, at the height of stress, remember, breathing, air, freshness will never be sacrificed. R. R stands for rest. So what are the effects of negative stress to rest? Well, stress reduces our time to sleep to less than 8 hours. And the main effect of this is lesser recovery of the body organs and cell development. And you will become sickly and you will have a weak immune system. Now, one organ here I want to focus is the heart. Example, your heart is not a stop organ. What I'm trying to say is it does not stop when you sleep. Not like the eyes, it will close. Not like the hands, it will rest. Your heart is never resting. Your heart is destined to beat 80 to 100 beats per minute if you are standing and working. The heart can only lessen the workload to 60 to 80 beats per minute when you are resting, lying on the bed, and that is already the rest of the heart. That's why 6 to 8 hours sleep is very important for the heart to lessen its own function so that the heart can be healthy and strong the next morning. But if you will deny it of rest and sleep, then your heart is becoming weaker, which can later on be an etiology for heart attack, and heart failure. Stress leading to deprived rest and sleep, pattern lessen mental rest, leading to deterioration of intellectual sharpness and decision-making prowess. So if you are not resting and sleeping very well, you become um, forgetful, you become irritable, and you become less effective in decision-making. You don't have to try these are already results of very potentially accepted international researches. The second T stands for trust in God. What is the negative effect of stress to our trust in our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Well, stress consumes the time that we should have allotted for family worship or family rosary. Stress makes work its center and our existence and forget that God gave that work to us. So, here is a maxim. We are busy doing the work of the Lord, forgetting the Lord of the work, and above everything else, forgetting that our body is the temple of God which we neglect by overworking. So let us give the time for God to God because part of it is spiritual rejuvenation as well as 
bodily physical rest. Do not neglect the 7 p.m. family worship or rosary and the 7 a.m. family worship and rosary. It's a time to look back at our Creator who have perfectly molded us even in our sinful state in this world. Now at this moment, let us talk about the rewards of stress. The first reward of stress is gastric concern. Stress can limit gastric function of food, digestion, even if there is no food, leading to acid production and ulceration of the stomach. So the possible result of this is stomach bleeding, malnutrition, hypovolemic shock because of bleeding, carcinogenic because of the hardly, um, hardly recovering wounds in our digestive system. And it may result into a terminal effect of death. Cardiovascular concern. Stress can imitate formation of clots such as cholesterol block or vasoconstriction even if there is none in the area. Meaning, stress is mimicking a myocardial infarction heart attack or a stroke symptom. So the positive effect, uh, the possible effect of this I mean is high blood pressure, we call hypertension. This can also result into triple A or the abdominal aortic aneurysm. It can result into heart attack or myocardial infarction and it can result into stroke or the cerebrovascular accident. So stress is very deadly especially if it goes along with a condition that we have already or if it goes along with a physical event in the body. Example, stress plus high blood is very deadly. Stress plus possible stroke symptoms is deadly. Stress plus diabetic diabetes is deadly. Next, you will have your neurology concerns or the brain concerns. Stress is often caused by work that is related to mental usage. Thus, stress tires the mind, which can often be read by the brain as a stimuli causing it to overwork and later end up in mental incapacity. That's why sometimes you can hear people say, it's harder to do a one-hour exam mentally than to play basketball for three hours. This is the neurologic, simple description of this concern. The possible effect to this is, let us qualify once again. This is stress involvement in the brain functions or in the neurology concerns of humans. Possible effects will be Alzheimer's disease, dementia or forgetfulness, psychosis, okay, which if not addressed will lead into irreversible brain damage, or uh, shall we say irreversible mental retardation, which is schizophrenia. Now, there are also other health concerns that may arise. Now, here is the bigger problem. If you are prone to stress due to work, and have possible problems with stomach, heart, and lungs. This can be extra emphasized if you are a smoker. Again, let me repeat. Smoker and strong liquid drinker or beer and whiskey drinker. Now, let us qualify. If you smoke and you have stress, it can lead to faster blockage and constriction of the blood vessels, therefore doubling the risk of stroke, heart attack, aneurysm, and respiratory failure. Dear youth lovers, if you are drinking wine, drinking beer, drinking strong drinks, and you have stress, okay, 
it can lead to faster destruction of the stomach and intestines, thus leading to high-risk bleeding due to ulcer and oftentimes gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD and acid reflux becomes a great problem which will cause pain to the system. Now, let us have a little review of the things that might cause us negative stress in the system. Well, prioritize new start. Remember what can negative stress do to nutrition. Exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air and ventilation, rest and sleep, and trust in God needs of our physiological and human system. That is why there is a need to know and to avoid too much stress. Now, what are the four realistic and common facts regarding stress? Fact number one. Stress-related death due to hypertension, heart attack, stroke, and aneurysm are now, are now common not only to professionals ages 50 and 60s, but as early as 30s and 40 years old. Let me emphasize that one. You can now visit hospitals and confirm that hypertensive cases are not only the diseases or the symptoms of people who are 50s and above. It is already a disease also or a symptom of a 30 or a 40 year old individual. Fact number two, stress related death are more common to men than women due to the fact that women after work can talk more but gentlemen after work can talk less then drink and smoke, and they die. Now, a common illustration for this is a stressful husband and a stressful wife goes home after work. So both of them wanted to ear out their problem, but the wife will triumph over the husband, and the husband will listen to the um, earing out of the wife. After that, the wife will say, Okay, I will just change clothes and then I will go down and let me listen to your problem. The problem with this is when the wife goes up after shower, falls asleep. So the husband has no one to listen to their problem, causing the husband to keep the problem and that will ignite greater stress in the system, magnify the symptoms and cause earlier deaths. Fact number three, career people are not paid to do their work at home. Let us always remember that. Leave work in the workplace and not a part of the home. But more of them are bringing their work at home, thus having no time for the family and for relaxation, leading to stress-building process. It will not only destroy our body, it can also destroy the family. Okay? Fact number four. Career death or physical disability is more stress-related than physical function-related. The stress is always called silent but sure killers of career-oriented people. That is very true. Our body can always have good nutrients, good food, good capacities of fixing itself. But with the doubling pressure from stress, it may die with stress and not really with a physical condition. Now, what is the price of stress? This has been the question that we have been asking in this youth vlogginar that we have. So what is the price of stress? Well, let me go back to the breaking news. 
there is a house and lot that is being given free in all of the churches, in all of the places, in all of the health education opportunities that we have, we represent. But nobody wants to grab this. Now, how about you, dear youth vlog listeners? Do you want this house and lot? Now, watch this if you want to have this house and lot. Remember our goal is not to have this prize. As career workers and students, our aim is always to work and so that we can provide the best, the best, okay? Shelter or house and lot for our family. But due to neglect of our health, due to succumbing to so much pressure, by overexposure to negative stress. Someday, the savings that we have can still buy a house and lot. But this is only a house with one window and a lot slightly bigger than the house. That is the house and lot that you can see in our screen. A stress house or a coffin and a stress lot which is a tomb. This is not our goal dear youth vloggers. But this can happen when we continue ignoring occupational and academic stress. So always remember, do not succumb to stress. Now, here is one formula I want you to take note because this is very dangerous. Alinaga nabaka plus a very cold soft drinks plus smoking plus stress will be a good ticket to have a house and lot that we are giving for now which is a coffin and a tomb. Well, you can see there the linaga nabaka has a lot of fat and cholesterol it can narrow the blood vessels. Soft drinks is very cold. It can constrict the blood vessel. Smoking has nicotine. And it can join in the cholesterol in making the blood vessels more narrow and even no holes for blood to pass by. And the sad thing about this is what we are trying to say earlier. Everything is doubled by breath, by stress. So if you will have this equation, for sure, not so long, you will be the first priority in winning this house and lot that nobody wants to receive in all of the health education that we are trying to reach out to people. Now, the reminder for the youth of this time, Listen, youth, adolescent, teenage brothers and sisters. The choice is ours, but let us choose a life that is not haunted by negative stress. We may have many stressors, but we have only one life. Let us take care of it. Oftentimes, we spend health to find wealth, but a sickness comes. We spend wealth to find health, but time will come that it might be too late. Dear Youth Flamings. Here is a biblical reminder for all of us. 1 Corinthians 10.31, it says, Whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. So the biblical base point that we have started this vlogginar, Matthew 11, 28 and 29. Come to me, all you who are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest 
for your souls. Last chance, dear youth vlogmates. Who wants to have the house and not for a price this very moment? Do you want it? I know you don't. Now, don't forget, your body is the temple of God. Take care of it. Always stay away from negative stress. And don't get the price. Thank you for spending time with us and letting us help you care and save your life. This has been your content provider, Bros Gonzaga Jr., known to my students as Sir Noy, saying, Do not claim the price of stress.